is an enormous honour to present this special judges award to Gordon Aikman. Um, you know, I'd love to accept this award, but I can barely hold it, um, unfortunately. Um, I have to say a massive thank you to all of my campaign team. Um, they've made this happen, you know. As one man, I couldn't have done half of what we've managed to do in the last few months. Um, and also the thousands of people that I've got behind the campaign, donating, lobbying, do nice bucket challenge, you name it, the, the support has just been incredible. And I tell you, you know, when I was diagnosed back however many months ago, I'd never heard of motor neuron disease. And you know, then came along the global sensation that was the ice bucket challenge, and now glitzy award ceremonies, you know. Who knew MND could be so damn glamorous? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, more seriously, I am very lucky. Uh, you might not think it, but I am very, very lucky indeed. I may be down, but I know a lot of people in this room tonight. I know how politics works, and I know the things that need to be fixed. And I think together we do have a chance to change things for future generations of people that do get motor neuron disease. But there is no time to waste. MND kills and it kills fast. So we too must act fast. For me, it's not about electoral cycles anymore. It's about the here and now. In six months time, I'll be in a wheelchair. I'd probably be talking to you through a computer. In a year, I'll be dead. So we must, we must act now. You know, our campaign has been a success. We've raised awareness of MND like never before. That's incredible. We've raised vital funds, almost £100,000. That's amazing. But most important of all, we've united people across the political spectrum. Yes and no, Labour and the Conservatives, the Lib Dems, the Greens, and of course the SNP too. But still, in parts of Scotland, people with terminal conditions are still having to pay for the care they so desperately need. The specialist nurses who visit me in my home are not paid for by our NHS, but are paid for out of charitable donations. People need to run marathons and organise bake sales so I can die with dignity. And still, despite the number of people with MND increasing each year, there is still only seven MND nurses for the whole of Scotland. Now that all needs to change. Everyone in this room can agree that. It's not difficult, and you know what? It's not even that expensive. We just need the political will. So Nicola, First Minister, please, let's get around the table and let's get this fixed. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Have a great night. <laughs>